Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders in digital infrastructure. I'm Buffy Harakitis of JSA, and joining me today, we have a very special guest, Octavio Camarana. He is the Chief Executive Officer of Kio. How are you? Thank you. Thanks for being here. Good. Welcome to JSA. Very happy. So why don't you tell us a little bit more about Kio? Uh, what the company does, and then we'll dive into some other questions. Great. Q is probably the biggest data center company in Mexico. We were the pioneers. The company was founded almost 25 years ago. And we started, as a matter of fact, in Querétaro, which has turned to be one of the major data center hubs in LATAM. Well, that leads me right into this next question. As you mentioned, it is a major hub right. in Latin America in the digital infrastructure market. Uh, what does Kio attribute to the exponential growth in this region? Well, as you know, we were the pioneers there. The first brick ever to be a data center in Querétaro was put there by Kio. And Querétaro is, is, is logistically, is strategically for many reasons. First of all, the climate is perfect. So it's very, it affects the way you chill, like you cool down the data center, which is critical in our industry. Second, the tectonic plates are not very are very rigid, so you don't have a lot of earthquakes in Mexico. You have to think about earthquakes yeah. as a factor. So it's a very a mild zone for earthquakes. Second, it's like Querétaro is in the middle. It, it's like the hub that unites the north with Mexico City. So it's, it's the pathway. So every single, you would say this like the aorta that unites the center with the north. So it's strategically. Also, they have a lot of universities. So manpower-wise, you can get a lot of engineers, high-quality high engineers. And um, and obviously, it has become one of the major hubs because of the support we get from local governments there. So it's, that's really what, what turned Querétaro into the Virginia of Mexico. Okay, so it is like the data center alley It is the of Virginia Mexico. of Mexico, exactly. All right. Well, given the growth uh, over time, <laughs> What specific role do you play in that region? Does Kio play there in that region? Well, we like to think ourselves as the major player. As, we, as you know, we were the first, the pioneers. We're, we were growing uh, tremendously in the region. We're creating a mega campus. We started 20-something years ago with a Querétaro 1. We're going to be launching Querétaro 2. In The first phase was, was launched this January, and we're going to terminate this in, a, in probably a couple of uh, months more. That's a Querétaro 2, and we're going to end up with Querétaro 3. That's a bigger expansion to make this mega campus approximately uh, 12 months from now. And we believe we're going to be prepared to be the major player. We have land, we have power. You know power is essential in our industry. Yeah. So we have been working quite thoroughly to assure that we have the power that our clients need. I mean, we've been hearing all about power today uh, between our interviews and several of the panels. So having the power in place it's, uh, it's is essential. critically it's important. Critical. critical. Definitely. <clears throat> so you, obviously, Keo has established uh, itself as one of the leading uh, data center providers in Latin America. What do you see your strategy and some of the main pillars for your strategic continued growth as we you know, approach the future here? Right. As you know, let me just start with, by saying Kio is established in Mexico, Guatemala, Panama, Colombia, and Dominican Republic. We have those five markets. So we, we believe it's essential to have a footprint in what you call North Latam, which is what I just mentioned. And we're preparing for the AI growth. Uh, as a matter of fact, in AI in Latam, no one can really say there's establishment or a real deployment of AI in Latam. Whoever says that is lying in, in a real basis. But we're preparing for that on a land and a power basis, and we're already having discussions with the major, with the, the usual suspects to start finding a way to structure a, a consistent and rigid and, and very um, uh, established AI component, not only for inference, but also for training. So I can tell you that we're getting ready for that, and it's going to come. It's going to be a matter of time, but we, do, we have already started those conversations, and they will get there. Well, it sounds like you're definitely prepared uh, as AI, we've been hearing all about that, of course, too, here course. and in that market as a leader there. Thank so you. is there anything else you want to add today? Just if you want a partner to grow in Latin America, look for Kio. Look We're, for Kio. We are the partner. They are the partner. Thank you. One of the top in Latin America. So why don't you tell viewers if they do want to partner and want to learn more about Kio, where to go? Well, please go to kio.tech and you can, you can approach us in all our media. It's called kio.tech techq.tech.mx. So please uh, just do you You know you know where to find us. Yeah, or reach out to JSA. We'll we'll be happy to connect you. 
uh, with the leaders over at Kio. Octavio, thank you so thank much you. for joining us today. Absolutely Happy a pleasure. To be with you guys. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to another episode of JSA TV live from ITW 2025. Stay curious, stay connected, and happy networking. And come to LATAM with Kio. I'm going to take you up on that. <laughs>